Hi, I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Department of Forestry and Natural Resources, and I'm here with the Tree of the Week. Or I guess I should say the Trees of the Week, the Buckeyes. We will be discussing both the Ohio Buckeye and the Yellow Buckeye, since both are found in Kentucky and have many similar characteristics. The Ohio Buckeye is also known as the American Buckeye the fetid buckeye, and the stinking buckeye because of the disagreeable odor that comes from crushing its leaves. It is found in central Kentucky all the way to the Great Plains states. It typically grows 40 to 60 feet tall. Now the yellow buckeye is also called the sweet buckeye or the big buckeye because it grows the largest of all of our buckeyes. It is found in the Appalachian Mountains from Pennsylvania to northern Georgia and into the Ohio Valley. It typically grows 60 to 75 feet tall but can easily grow up to 100 feet in its natural habitat. Both buckeyes grow best in moist, well-drained soils with at least partial sunlight. Both trees are flowering right now, and their flowers are somewhat similar looking. The flowers grow in a six to seven inch upright panicle, as you can see in the photo. The Ohio buckeye flowers tend to be a little more greenish yellow, and the yellow buckeye flowers tend to be more yellow. The flowers are pollinated by several types of bees including bumblebees, mason bees, as well as the ruby-throated hummingbird. The leaves of both the buckeyes are already out right now, and you can see they're deciduous and they're oppositely arranged on the branch, as you can see in the yellow circle. The leaves are palmately compound, like you can see in the left image, um, and it's kind of like your hand as they radiate from that central point of that leaf stem. And there are usually five leaflets on both yellow buckeye and Ohio buckeye. The fall leaves of the Ohio buckeye are typically yellowish brown, whereas the yellow buckeye leaves tend to turn more of an orangish kind of pumpkin color. For both species, they change colors early in the fall and they drop quickly. The fruit of the buckeye is um, a leather-like husk that contains seeds. The seed husks can be a good way to tell one species from the other. The Ohio buckeye seed husk tends to be covered in short prickly spines as you can see in the picture and the yellow buckeye seed husk is very smooth. The Ohio buckeye typically has one seed per husk whereas the yellow buckeye can have one to three seeds per husk. The seeds of both are chestnut brown, smooth and shiny. These seeds are dispersed by gravity, water, and occasionally animals. This tree isn't a big favorite with wildlife like some of our other trees, but squirrels have been known to eat the seeds. The seeds do contain a glucoside that's considered poisonous to many of our livestock. The wood of buckeye is lightweight, it's soft, and it's easily workable. I mean, it tends to be light in color. It's used in crates, um, kind of under parts of furniture, woodenware, and the burls are often used as decorative items, as you can see in the photo. Since the wood was so lightweight, it was once used to make artificial limbs before the introduction of synthetic lightweight materials. Did you know the common name of buckeye comes from the resemblance to a buck's eye? and that Native Americans boiled the buckeyes to leach out asculin, the toxic substance in the seed, to make them edible for humans, and that people used to carry buckeyes in their pockets to protect them from rheumatism. And this last one I bet everybody already knows, the Ohio buckeye is the state tree of Ohio. The national champion Ohio buckeye is right here in Lexington, Kentucky. It's 86 feet tall, has a 57 foot crown spread and 174 inches in circumference. Check out more, check out the American Forest Big Trees to find out more about national champions or check out um, the Kentucky Division of Forestry to learn about our state champions. So hopefully you'll get an opportunity to get out in your neighborhood, a local park, or your woodland and enjoy the beautiful Buckeyes.